Hey guys, my name is Caleb Corona. I'm in my third year of my PhD here at Iowa State University, um, Department of Entomology, uh, also studying pesticide toxicology in Dr. Joel Coates' lab. Right here today in Pamela Woods uh, to check on the progress of a current project we've been working on as a part of the CDC Midwestern Center of Excellence for Vector-Borne Diseases. We're monitoring mosquito resistance to uh, commonly used insecticides in central Iowa. We're right here today to collect some larvae, uh, possibly some eggs. We can take them back and rear those, and we're going to be doing assays on these insects to monitor how resistance has developed in these wild populations of mosquitoes. We're trying to really get a handle on are the measures we're taking working, and if not, why? what insecticides could be used, what insecticides have we used, and is there resistance developing in these mosquito populations to kind of warn off those insecticides. So what we just did there was the collection portion of the process. Uh, we come out here and we check the overposition traps we've set in the buckets. Uh, we do this system using the sheets, uh, using the mesh, you saw this metal mesh. We pour those through, uh, that lets us get the larvae. Uh, we've also been collecting egg grafts off the top. We didn't see any of those today. Uh, not a big deal. We still got the larvae we needed. We still got enough to keep going. Uh, but that was the collection process. So there we were trying to obtain larvae, uh, no matter what instar they are, um, younger or older pupae. There's some pupae in that sample as well. Uh, so we got a pretty diverse section of you know the whole life cycle there. Uh, so we'll take these up to the lab next, and we'll set them up uh, for the rearing strategies next. And then after that, we'll hopefully get into the assay portion of things as well. So what we're doing up here is the separation process of the field collection. Uh, as we've done here in this pan, you can see the field will be collected. Uh, we have all different life stages present in a lot of these samples, or immediately after that we achieve all these life stages. Mosquitoes being holometabolous insects, they follow this pretty similar pattern, a lot of other common insects. We have an egg, which you um, have seen in here floating around little black dots. You have the larvae, which have been a lot of the wiggles that we showed you on the screen earlier in the pans we've been you know, showing you footage of before. We have the pupae, which is sort of the intermediate stage between the larvae and adult, which you can see in this pan here. And then clearly we have a lot of adults as well, so the phase is actually gonna be responsible for the transmission of different diseases to the public. So the next stage we're gonna walk you through is the final stage in this process. We showed you the collecting and the rearing, now we're gonna show you the actual assay that we're running here. Uh, so this is a commonly used assay across the world. This is the CDC roll bottle assay. As you can see here, we've set one up just using a control, so an untreated, uh, an untreated bottle here. So what this is actually measuring is it's gonna measure the effect of different types of insecticides on the mosquito. So we coat this bottle with a certain volume of that solution, which gives us um, you know, a certain amount of, ins uh, of ins insecticide that's actually within the bottle. Then we introduce mosquitoes to that bottle and we allow them to come into contact with the sides of the bottle that's been coated with that insecticide. Then for the next, uh, you know, we have different time points we're checking mortality of these insects at. And as we're, as we're going through that, we can then see if the, if the insecticide's having the intended result on the mosquito. Um, so for this one, I control, obviously they're very lively. You see everything flying around. Uh, the main things we work with here are pyrethroids such as permethrin, beta um, other commonly used pyrethroid types of insecticides, or also carbamates and organophosphates, uh, another class of insecticides that's commonly used. So the assays are running here are testing both of those types of insecticides against these field populations of mosquitoes. Uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, the male mosquito actually doesn't bite people. Uh, it feeds on nectar. Um, the only reason a female needs blood is to uh, get the protein from that blood to support the eggs and then lay those eggs. So um, if you ever see the male mosquito, uh, no fear, it will not bite you.